Hello, my name is Valerie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to do a ministry vlog. I want to show you guys the hair side that I'm going to try to accomplish. Let me see. Okay, she's going to get to the So like that, that's the hair side I'm trying to achieve. Oh, I'm probably going to need way more hair. Hold on. And I don't know what I'm wearing. I know I have to wear the bowling t-shirt. Um, but it's also warm outside. So I don't know. Who knows what I'm wearing. Wow. Oh, let me see if y'all get it. So let me see if I do this and then it goes like to the back. Will that... Ooh, honey, you're a little... Oh, she's a little. She's a little, uh... How you much... What you call it? Ooh, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. I need to put more hair. I'm back. Before I'm getting my food. It's 421. Time is actually going a lot faster than I thought. I actually need to eat a good chunk of my food because I need to start my hair like at 30 minutes. Possibly 40. But I don't need to. Push it. So yeah, I'll see you when I'm doing my hair. Tada Johnson. Who's calling me? My mother. So calling her. about yesterday I had one battery well is that how you call it I don't know I had one thing left of battery and I closed it and then I just let like my pastor's daughter just record stuff um whenever she wanted to it, it's 10 15 it was so hard for me to get up this morning I've been up since 7 but actually getting up was a problem like I went back to sleep a couple of times and then I sat with the Lord and I listened to Bible verses and then it kept putting me to sleep <laughs> um but it was so hard to get up but I'm gonna run errands it's day two of the conference um yeah it's day two of the conference so I'm in charge I'm like a PA yeah I'm a PA for one of the worship leaders that's come to our conference from Texas um, so I'll actually be picking her up today and I'm also on the registration team so I have to be there at 530 so we're, she lives not she lives but she's at a hotel close to the church so um, I'm probably gonna have to leave around like 430 around that time so yeah we're going grocery shopping though today i'm gonna try to make it better i'm gonna try to give you more content and then of course i'll have a mr video talking about 
ministry and they're going the wrong way on a one way Uh uh-huh interessante wow wait (laughs) it's my neighbor they know they're going the wrong way that's ridiculous but okay so yeah I don't know where I'm going. Well, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods just get um, certain things because I want my tres leches. You feel me? Um, Whole Foods. I don't get too much stuff from Whole Foods though because their food a little too healthy for me. So I'm gonna go to. I'm still debating on Trader Joe's. I'm still debating because I never find a lot at Trader Joe's that I like. So I'm just like, is it actually like convenient? to go to Trader Joe's I don't know I mean like I like the aesthetic it would make make me really feel like a YouTuber if I took you guys to Trader Joe's with me I really would but I think that I'm just gonna go to Kroger and Whole Foods yeah all right so I'll probably see you guys when I'm at one of those locations hours later um so my camera actually overheated and I, I didn't couldn't figure out what was wrong with her i like took out my sd card and was like okay maybe i should put it back in but every time i opened it it said like writing onto memory card and then it said something else but i can't remember and i'm just like what is wrong with it um but i couldn't record like then i got home so yeah, and then I got home and I was touching my camera. I was like, bro, this is a little hot. Maybe you're overheated. So then I took the memory card and the battery out. The battery was a little hot. I just let it cool down. And now we're back. Better than ever. Um, so yeah. So change of plans. I'm actually not going to be doing um registration tonight. Just because I have to um pick up one of our um guests from texas so uh yeah i have a little bit of more time i spent time with the lord because i don't know i feel like i don't know i just feel like i'm just been all over the place today's also my sabbath but it really hasn't felt like one and i don't really know why all the way but it's okay i sat with the lord and I listened to a worship set and I don't know what it is about this worship set it's anointed okay this one worship set that I always listen to like before bed when I'm like just like unsettled in my soul and they're I think they're they're just um they're literally just singing like the word of God like they have their bibles and they're like singing psalms um and it's so good it's so good it's by greenhouse prayer room it's so good so i listened to that and now i feel a lot better i still feel like a little anxious unsettled and i don't really know why but um i'm gonna get in the shower soon i'm gonna play uh jazz music in the shower so maybe i'll feel better after a shower i also think i need to take ibuprofen because i have a little bit of a headache um let me see how much time i actually have i just 422 i'm a I have to be to her by 6 30 so i'll probably leave around like 6 like 15 so i started to get ready at an hour before 6 15 is 5 15 so i get ready at 5 it's only 4 22 i have a lot Ooh. i do have a lot of time which i didn't think about yeah, i have a lot of time so with that being said we're gonna talk about ministry i'm gonna set you guys down and we're gonna talk okay so let's talk every all things ministry um so i'm also gonna preface this by just like 
wanting to correct my language so when i'm talking about ministry i'm talking about the ministry that i am in which is like church ministry so anywhere let me take these off because i'm oh, sorry for the glare um so basically anywhere that you have been giving influence to um evangelize and share the gospel that is your lane of ministry so um like i go to osu right now even me being in my classes can be a form of ministry where i get to um talk to other people about the lord and um just evangelize so that's also a place of ministry but with this um video like what my little my little spiel um is going to be about is um ministry through the church so i am the events ministry leader at i'm not gonna say the name of the church just in case i'm events ministry leader and i've been i've had that role since um last summer like the end of last summer because i remember i was in charge of thanksgiving the end of last summer i would say i got that role maybe when i finished the internship so i did a summer internship at the church and then and then i got the role of events ministry leader and basically my my pastor um came up to me um and he was just basically like he see like he sees like a hospitality gifting where um and basically that means like being able like to welcome others and make them feel like safe and seen um, and also getting to serve them um, which is really really important um, just like in the ministry of Jesus and I I feel like no one has ever pointed it out I feel like there are moments where I'm just like oh yeah that makes sense but I never fully I was like oh this might be a hospitality gifting before he like actually talks to me like that like every time we would have something so I would like volunteer for like the welcome team or i'll volunteer for everything because i just love i just love the church um and and he would always like every time like he placed me somewhere um so every time like we were like having events or something he would always put me my pastor would always put me on like welcoming people and i'm just like can i set up <laughs> Can I do something else? Like, not that I have a problem with welcoming people, but I'm just like, setting up, that's kind of fun, you know? I like that. But he was always like, put Valerie on welcome team or put Valerie on greeting people. And I was like, hmm. And I always wondered, I was like, huh, why is that? And then when he basically um, was, when he basically like told me about like the role, then I was like, oh, okay. Now that makes sense why you always have me on greeting and stuff. Um, so yeah and basically there was no one in that role before we're a relatively like new church we've been around for about two years two and a half years well two years i would say that role wasn't a thing um and he basically came to me and he was like he sees me doing really well in that role um and yeah and i was, I was like i'm gonna pray about it um because like it's easy to get excited when people see things in you and that they, they offer you um i don't know offer you roles and stuff um but it's really important for you yourself to go back to the lord and get confirmed with the lord um because not every role that you're offered um is probably what the lord wants you to do so i went to the lord and i was like lord if you want me to do it confirm it if you don't want me to do it let me know so I think maybe like a few days went by and I woke up in the middle of the night. There was this, excuse me, there's this scripture. I can't remember exactly where it is. I can try to find it. Scripture where it says, um, whoever you're serving, like, well, talk about, talk about the importance of serving. And then it literally goes because you never know if it's an angel that you're serving. Also, I woke up in the middle of the night, like at 2 a.m., like, Cause I, and sometimes when I make wake up in the middle of the night, I haven't done it in a long time where I just, I'm like, oh, God wants to talk to me right now. Let me get my phone to write note, down notes or something. But I woke up at 2 a.m. and I wrote down, I was writing notes for whatever verse I feel like the Lord was telling me. He was like, you never know if you're serving angels. And it was like, at the same time, so it was this tension of this like, 
this like oh my gosh that's so cool but also this little this little um feeling of oh no i'm kind of scared because <laughs> i'm just like angels serving angels you don't know they're angels it was like i was like okay. It was like, it was like cool because I was like, oh my gosh, the Lord's like telling me like, go for it. But at the same time, it was like, oh, that's kind of scary. Like that I could, my, I don't know. So that's basically what confirmed. Like I felt like the Lord wanted me to go for it. And I told him, I was like, yes, let's get into it. Let's do it. Um, basically what that looks like, um, I usually like handle like all of our fellowship like events. So any events that involve food. So we have a thing, we have like, a Thanksgiving together we, um, we our church really prior to, prioritizes feasting together just because we saw that in the ministry of Jesus so much and we actually believe that, believe that there's like there's something spiritual attached to eating with each other so not only are you uh like in the church like reading scripture um and doing all like doing all the things but us eating together and fellowshipping is just as much worship just as much worship unto the lord so that's what we get to do um and i really love it it's something that's really cool um this season um since january has looked very different for me however um yeah i took a oh yeah I took up Valerie's Eden, which you're watching right now. Um, and then, so I'm way more active on the Instagram. And the Instagram I do about sometimes 30 days of content or less. Um, but I try to do at least 30 days of content. Um, and just like launching this ministry that I feel like the Lord has led me into. And then being in school and leading a ministry house and all the things like... I think just like adding things on top it's just been like really really difficult me learning how to steward everything that I have well in this season that I'm in and honestly like I personally don't feel like I've been doing the best job in terms of events ministry leading because I was supposed to set up for a session like well actually we're supposed to have a bowling event girl I'm not gonna go into the whole spiel. But basically, we showed up for the bowling. They told us that we didn't have a reservation. I'm like, I gave you a card number. I paid a deposit. And then like, I was having a really, really hard week already. And then that on top, I like broke down crying. <laughs> crying in the bowling alley. So that was one way where I'm just like, oh, like this season has been difficult in terms of having this role. I got sick and because I got sick, I got sick the same week that I was supposed to be in charge of um, getting the food ready for um, an event where basically we um, we get to bring in people who want to be members of the church and get to just sit with them and get to tell them the mission of the church and stuff like that. I show up to the church, right? I, cause I totally forgot about it because I was sick. I probably wasn't even going to go. But then I was like, oh, I feel better than what I did the past few days. And I'm just going to go just pull up in the parking lot. Somebody texts me who is now in charge of our leading, like the session. All I do is provide like the food and get the stuff ready for the session. But like this person leads the session. And he's like, what time is the food coming? Do you want me to pick it up or um, is it getting delivered? And I sit there like in my car in the church parking lot like bro you have got to be kidding me long story short we figured it out because the lord oh, the lord always comes through yes i was freaking out though i sure was i'm that freaker outer freaker outer <laughs> freaking out um however um we did get the food. We couldn't get it catered, which is fine, but we did what we had to do, get sandwiches from Walmart, and we did what we had to do with a short period of time. But even that, coming after like the other, the other mishap, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, I'm like, should I resign? <laughs> I was like, Lord, should I resign? But the Lord is also trying to teach me something in this season where it's like, I'm having trouble 
just being a daughter just because for so long like um before christ everything was based on my performance so everything that i had is because i worked to get what i had so like in christ five years later (laughs) five years later um i have trouble with just being because i'm just like how can i just be and you still feel the same about me it doesn't make sense um so it's like when it says that you're loved that you're holy that you're blameless just just being a daughter of god and i'm just like are are you sure i didn't even do nothing i didn't do nothing spectacular or i'm just like okay let me go do something spectacular so i can justify you saying that you love me or whatever uh but i feel like the lord is also trying to show me like hey like you're not doing like the best that you've like seen yourself do in the past like usually guys i'm on it with events like i'm handling it days before weeks before making sure everything's right i'm a plan i plan ahead um because i like to make sure things go smoothly um but the fact that like it was like bro like no matter like what i did like i still wasn't doing well i feel like it was just like the lord showing me like bro like i still not him calling me bro but (laughs) it was like i still love you the same like right now with you struggling to do this stuff for this for this event's ministry um as i did when you were doing the thing in events ministry last year it's definitely an experience Also, I do want to clarify something that I said before where I'm talking about, like, not being good, like, struggling to be a good steward of everything that the Lord has given me. There's a difference between, like, trying to steward well what the Lord has given you, but also, like, taking on too many things where the Lord's like, I didn't ask you to do all that. <laughs> oh, it's just funny because that used to be me. Or I was like, oh, I'm be there, I'm be there. But the Lord's like, hey, honey, I didn't ask you to do that. Like, I didn't ask you. That's great. But, like, I didn't ask for you to do that. That's not a part of, like, your purpose or whatever. It's not. And I'm like, oh, for real? Ooh. So, like, everything that I'm doing in this season, I'm just trying to learn how to steward these things. Because everything that I am in right now are things that I actually feel like the Lord has said. Valerie, go. I, I created space for you to be here at this time what do i feel like i'm called to do like in like ministry so through like through the church ministry um events sorry y'all my nose is so itchy and i'm inside the house what do i feel like i'm called to do in events ministry i feel like through that ministry the lord just continues to i guess harp on servant leadership the only type of leadership you'll find in the bible is servant leadership so it's like leading out of a place where it's like i would never ask somebody to do something that i wouldn't do myself i made it a goal like for just our team that like before any event we don't touch a chair we don't clean a table we don't do anything until like we all have been filled up like in the lord like at least been have been prayed prayed over for by somebody else so that we can be able to carry out this task because the worst thing is to give on it out of an empty cup and i feel like you know you see you see this all the time like on instagram like this giving out of an empty cup if you giving out of a an empty cup can produce decent results for whoever you're giving to imagine what it looks like to give out of a full one imagine like you giving out of a full cup the crazy things that like you are able to do for somebody else if you giving out an empty can produce decent results imagine what being full of the lord and giving that out can do for that person and also do for you because guess what now you're not you're not dry when you're giving out of an overflow hello so we're at the event again and here's here's tisha my bestie eating her pizza it's good is it good what type of pizza so it has pepperoni with the pizza 
up. It has some onions and green pepper. Interessante. Yeah, I think I like this combination. Wow. And then we're gonna say hi to the roomies. Hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey. No, not at all? No. Well, I'm gonna show you guys the fit. Get in. Here's my fit. Uh-uh. <laughs> we like it, we like it. <laughs> Me next. Okay, you're so you're fit. So I'll record some more. Or I might give it to Rylan for her to record because I don't want to record. I want to enjoy Jesus. You know? Alright, goodbye. We're on the holy ground. Is the ground marked with blood? Does the Spongebob say three hours later or five hours later? Who knows? However, it's a few hours later. Um, yeah, I had to leave early. Not early, but right on time. Right when it ended. Because, <clears throat> um... Sorry, I just ate Trace Leches and it's giving me a weird feeling in my throat. I'm not allergic. I'm not allergic. So, um, yeah, at, she has um, rehearsal in the morning. I need to set my alarm, bro. She, yeah, she has rehearsal in the morning, so, sorry. So I have to, um, I had to take her home to the Fossil Sisters so she can get, not rehearsal, yeah, so she can rest and sleep. So, did that and I also invited my friend from class um, I don't really know her that well but I just feel like the Lord told me to invite her and it was amazing for her she said she loved it and it was amazing I, it's so good when you're obedient sometimes some people reject you but it's not them rejecting you some rejecting the Lord so just that, that was disgusting oh my gosh you didn't see that <laughs> so dust off your feet and keep it moving Shake the dust off your feet, like the Bible says. Um, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Obviously, it's late and I'm tired, so that's why you don't understand anything that I'm talking about right now. For you. You remember that TikTok dance? Hey, y'all, listen. I don't know how homework's gonna get done. My essay is 10 pages and it's due on Monday. And I, I have no time to do it tomorrow. And I have, it's at th four pages right now. But I'm just like, am I going to do it all on Sunday? That sounds like horrible. That sounds like a nightmare. Um, Marie, how was your day? Tell, tell us. Um, it's still going. Really? Yeah. Sorry. I don't. She didn't want y'all to hear her conversation. That's why she walked out. Because y'all nosy. Yeah, girl. Bye, girl. Yeah, guy. Bye, guy. Just in case there's guys. And so I'll see you guys tomorrow.